Good evening. Tonight we are headed to the Grand Floridian for dinner, mm -hmm. but also because it's Christmas time, they have a gingerbread house in the middle of the Grand Floridian. Yeah. So uh, they usually have a tree in the Grand Floridian too, but I'm not sure if they're doing that this year because the gingerbread house is kind of more towards the center of the lobby compared to where it normally is. Oh, it's normally off to the left a little bit, but now it's like centered, which I thought was very strange. And well, I haven't seen pictures of the tree yet. What's in the place of, like, why did they, why is it in the center? I don't know. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. It's right. interesting. Yeah. Another thing that we're going to try to do tonight, but I don't know if we'll actually make it there, is we're thinking of going to Wilderness Lodge because I know they put their tree up. And they have a gingerbread house, which they've never done that before. Yeah, it's a gingerbread log cabin. Yeah, I saw pictures online. It looks really cool. Yeah. And the, the Wilderness Lodge, like their lobby is just super beautiful anyway. So it should be pretty awesome. And we may try to look into the Enchanted Rose Lounge. Oh yeah, at the Grand Floridian. That's yeah. what the uh, the lobby bar turned into. Yeah, so that's where Meisner's used to be. And it's now a Beauty and the Beast themed lounge. Yeah. And it's been open for a while. We're kind of late on that one. But I don't know. The food, I looked at the food menu. It looks pretty like fancy. Oh yeah. So. So let's head on out. Yeah. Tis a beautiful night at the Grand Floridian. <laughs> uh, we were able to park in the parking lot at Grand Floridian because we have a dinner reservation. Yeah. Normally you wouldn't be able to do this. You'd have to park over at TDC and walk over or take the monorail over. It's very close. So yeah. it's, it's really not a big deal to park over there. Also, this one's walking tonight because she wants to pop a baby out soon. So we talked to the doctors a little bit about like ways to sort of get things going because we're so close to the due date and um, I need to walk. So although it's a little bit painful, I'm definitely getting used to the pain. So I can walk for a little bit longer and I can sit here. So like we're gonna sit for dinner and then there are seats all over the lobby if I need to take a break. So I'm gonna try it. <laughs> we're gonna see what happens. Monorail. <laughs> also, uh, you, uh, you're about to be in the most pain of your life, so. So what? So I mean like it's good that you're getting used to this pain. <laughs> everything that was up is down now. This is so confusing. <laughs> they moved everything. They moved everything. No Christmas tree. And I'm betting on there's not going to be one because where the gingerbread house is. I'm betting that there will be one. Okay. Let's see who's right. All right. <laughs> I think we should ask if they're going to have one. It we'll ask. For sure. He's playing Let's Go Fly a Kite. And there's the gingerbread house in the background. Just passing by the gingerbread house. We're gonna get a closer look at it a little bit later, but we're going to dinner right now. Tonight, we're eating at the Grand Floridian Cafe. We've eaten here a few times. I feel like the last time that we had dinner, it was too salty for me, but then we had breakfast here and it was super delicious. So, giving it another try. So we have sat down at the Grand Floridian Cafe and here's a quick look at the menu. I think I'm gonna get that buttermilk fried chicken. Sounds real good. Also, they just added the Impossible Burger recently. So have you had a chance to look at the menu? I have. I have had a chance to look at the menu. I'm sort of leaning towards the salmon, but I don't know. That's kind of like a, I feel like that's going to be a big dinner. I'm definitely going to get the fried chicken because it looks delicious. It sounds really good. This um, warmed bacon vinaigrette sounds amazing, yeah. but I don't know. I don't know. But also we're here with friends. Hello! Hello, hello <laughs> Hi, internet friends. <laughs> but so we're so excited. We're gonna check out the, the gingerbread house and have delicious dinner and have friend time and so it should be fun. Yeah. yeah. Oh, are you guys okay with going to Wilderness Lodge as well? Tonight? Yeah. They have their tree and they're I, I, I am, go. yeah. I've wanted to go. If my headache goes was... away, I'm in. I know, yes. I, we love that. We like dragged her out and she has a headache, so. I know. Hopefully it goes away. So I'm gonna eat some bread and it's gonna be fine. I'm willing that to happen. It's my favorite place in all of Walt Disney World. Yeah, and I'm excited. To... Is the gingerbread house new this year? It is, yeah. yeah. My favorite place is River Country. <laughs> we ordered some fried mozzarella. This is not what I was expecting it to look like at all. It looks really fancy. It said it was hand breaded and I didn't really know that it was going to be this fancy. And it's got some artichoke in it too. And a tomato jam. Ooh, got to show you guys, they brought us some brown bread and some honey butter. 
This butter is so delicious. But I also wanted to say that was the best mozzarella, like fried mozzarella I've had. And I really like the artichoke and the tomato jam. And the balsamic glaze. It was really good. It was delicious. I think, um, I didn't know that we were only gonna get two of them, but I think that was the perfect amount for, cause we're gonna have dinner too. Yeah, yeah it was a good appetizer. Highly recommend it. So this looks legit. That's my fried chicken. Jen got the salmon. It smells so good. It looks good, it's miso glazed. Jim got a pasta dish, like a plant-based pasta dish, the garden pasta. And then this is actually an appetizer salad that Nicole got. That looks so amazing. Is that the grilled romaine? It's a garden vegetable. There's like carrots and green beans. It looks really good. Well, that was absolutely delicious. I have officially changed my point of view on Grand Florian Cafe. Like I said, one time we came and it was super salty and not my favorite thing. This has been a delicious trip. This salmon is so good. This, uh, it's like a ginger miso sauce. Delicious. I wish I could put this on everything. It's really rich. It has like this really just rich flavor. And then there's a lemon sticky rice. So good. This is so good. It's time for dessert. We're gonna get in line to get some treats from the gingerbread house. Now, if you're just looking to get gingerbread shingles, if there's a line, you can always go kind of right back behind us here to Sandy Cove and you can get gingerbread shingles there. Or you can get gingerbread shingles and other desserts here at the gingerbread house. I think that you should get them from the house because like, don't you want to buy them from the gingerbread house? Well, it's, it's it, more exciting. Is it? I think so. Look, there's a door, secret door. <laughs> so if you don't just want a shingle, here's all of the other things that are available at the gingerbread house. Oh. Oh my gosh. Cookie bags? Snowman donut? I want so many things. You can buy an entire gingerbread house? Now, does the does the other like do the other houses have different menu items? I think so. Oh, okay. But then they have like a whole display of all of the different things that you can get here. Oh, I didn't know that that's what this was. That's the $60 gingerbread house. It comes with a tiny bear dog with a Santa hat. <laughs> I thought it was a cat. The that comes with a tiny cat with a Santa hat. <laughs> what is this? I want that. Oh, I think that's the s'mores that sounds, cookie. S'mores yeah. cookie, yeah. Tree that brownie, that does look good. Oh, this is like the, the bag full of cookies. That's one, what's this pop? It's got a straw in it. I need to know. Oh, what's this cookie too? Oh, there's a big loaf down here. This must be the grand box. There's so many different things that I'm not sure what they are, but they all look so delicious. Also, they show the assembly, measuring for accuracy, applying the shingles. Also, there's hidden Mickeys all over the gingerbread house. We gotta be on the lookout for some. Oh, I found one. Do you guys find it? I'm gonna zoom in on it nice and slow. There it is, right there. A hidden Mickey. I wonder if there's a sign that says how many hidden Mickeys there are across the entire building. So one thing that you might be asking yourself is, Tim, what do they do with this at the end of the season? Oh yeah, what do they do with it? Fun fact. They take it out to a field and they pressure wash all of the gingerbread off and then that feeds bees and then they can harvest the honey. So Disney has a fleet of bees. Is that right? A fleet? Yeah, that sounds like so uh, like professional. Yeah. Like they're employing the bees. I mean, the bees are pollen. Oh, I found another hidden Mickey. Where? Right there. Oh, that? Yeah. I thought you meant a true hidden Mickey. No, no, there. I'll show you a true one. It's on the other side. I showed them already. There's a red one right there too. Oh man, you guys, you guys got the inside scoop before I did. I know. That's did what they need the, is ice cream here. Did you show them the ingredients list? No, I didn't see the ingredients list. Let's go see it. Is the Santa made out of, of chocolate? I feel like he looks like he could be. I don't think he is though. Oh, okay. I wanna ask somebody. This looks good. I feel like it is more decorated than it has been in years past with other like tchotchkes around the porches. Well, it has like a tiny Christmas village in there to see it. Oh yeah. They're, uh, they're like ice skating inside of a mountain. Kind of hard to see. That looks like something very similar to what they have at the Yacht and Beach Club. Oh yeah, it does. We'll have to leave a video down below with some of that. They're, they have it this year again, another gingerbread uh, carousel but we haven't been yet this year. Oh, that's a lot of honey. See, just goes right back to the bees. 
Wow. 600 pounds of powdered sugar. I like how they don't want to give away their secret spices, their secret blend of herbs and spices. 35 pounds of spices. Tons of creativity. Disney magic and pixie dust. So it has more honey than anything in it. No, it's got more creativity than anything. Oh, that's true. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, other than that, it's all honey. Wow. That is pretty interesting. It is. I didn't realize that at the bottom of the sign I was showing you guys earlier, they have the hours. So this is open from 9.30 until 10 p.m. Well, the house will always be here in the in the lobby, but if you want to buy something from the gingerbread house, you need to come before 10 p.m. Right. And this is something that they've been doing since 1999. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, another thing that we found out is that there is going to be a tree in the Grand Floridian. Who was right? You were right. The elves are just still working on it. Yeah, they said eh, maybe towards the end of the week. Yeah. Possibly. I'm excited. No guarantee, though. <laughs> we just got our Christmassy treats from inside of the gingerbread house. And look how fun. This is everything that you can get. It looks so delicious. We'll show you guys what we got in just a second, but how cool. <laughs> Thank you. So another thing that we found out while we were there is that the gingerbread house that I was talking about was a $60 gingerbread house that you can buy. It's already pre-made. So you don't have to decorate it. You don't have to build it. You can just like show up at your house and be like, look at this thing that I made. I made this. <laughs> right? So they have vegan treats. Yeah. Aaron McKenna gingerbread cookie. How is it? Do you love it? Yeah. It's I didn't real have good. mine yet, but we both liked the thin mint. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. yeah. And these are like very like ginger snappy. Okay, oh, they're like crispy? spicy kind of. They're, yeah. Okay. You hear that? They're spicy. Yeah. Are they crispy? Spicy. Yeah, the crispy and spicy. Okay. I feel like crispy is probably the wrong word. They're crunchy. Yeah. And you got a friend in me. And here's what we went with. I got the s'mores cookie, and Jen got a Christmas tree brownie pop. Yeah. Which looks really good. They both look really delicious. Yes. And like way too much food. No. Yours was five fifty, and mine was six fifty. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. I feel like I got a better deal. I think you did. Also, the orchestra started playing. Is that an orchestra? The orchestral band. What do you think? This is really good. It is really good. It's very sweet, but it's so delicious. The cookie is almost like a brownie because it's like soft baked. Can I have one more bite? Yeah, sure. I mean, no. Hmm. Mm. This is really good. Oh. But I thought it was completely dipped in chocolate, but it's not. No, it's just the brown. Just the bottom, though. There is some chocolate dipping on it down here, though. Down here. So, I don't know. I'm a little bit disappointed that it's not more chocolatey. <laughs> I probably don't need that. But I'm going to try it. Let's see. It's very thick. Pretty good. Good. Yours was better. Well, no. Yeah. You want the rest of mine? I'll eat yours. No. You sure? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. All right. I do highly suggest getting some of those treats from the gingerbread house. Even though I said if you just want a gingerbread shingle, you should go to the store. I think the treats that are available here in the house are better than just the shingles. Now, we're not going to go up and have any drinks or uh, any more food up at the Enchanted Rose, but we are going to peek inside and have a look around because we haven't seen it yet. There it is, the Enchanted Rose. This is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be, and it's the entrance so is totally pretty. different. Yeah, this looks way different than I thought. Yeah. Oh, I like that you can see the pool out there. All right, let's go inside and have a look around. Yeah. This is the main bar. Wow. I like that the chandelier almost looks like licorice. This is it's nice. It's a lot darker in here. Yeah. This is interesting. It smells like truffles in here. Yeah. Huh. Wow. Look at that. Oh, there's like a whole nother set. Oh, because they took over the store that was up here too. It's huge in yeah. here. Wow. There's a lot of space in here. Then there's outdoor seating too. Wow. 
This is real fancy. Yeah, I really like this. I like these like weird branch chandeliers. really is. This isn't even a half of it. Let's go over to the other section. We came in over here because I thought we'll just go through, but it's not connected. The, the bar was over there and now it's, we're in another room. Did you see Cogsworth? Oh yeah. That's really neat. Did also, the detail on the ceiling? Oh yeah. That's really neat. It is so beautiful in here. I don't, what is, what is this? Is this a TV? I feel like it does something magical. Right? Seems like it would. And then this, I believe that this is like just the, the wine area. I feel like wine by the glass over here. This is interesting. Totally different section. This really is neat. So there's two bookcases in here. There's one on this side. There's one on the other side. That's the side that has Cogsworth, and the one that's on the other side actually has Lumiere on it, but there's some people sitting right underneath it, so I wasn't gonna go over there and show it, because I feel like that would be kind of rude. While we're up here, I figured I should show you guys the gingerbread house from a different angle. Also, I seem to remember there being a Cosmo gift. Still don't know who Cosmo is. Pretty interested to find out who's Cosmo and what's in his gift, because it's in there every year. And thus we bid Grand Floridian adieu, and now we're making our way to Wilderness Lodge. Yay, I'm excited. Oh yeah, we are over at Wilderness Lodge now. I already see some tinges of Christmas. Let's head inside and see what else we can find. What's a tinge? Like a, like a slight, slight tinge. <laughs> okay. Like a, is that a word? I don't know, sometimes I think you make words up. That is indubitably <laughs> incorrectation. The Christmas is wicker bears. This is cool, it's like a little photo op. Yeah, look at you. You know what they have are secret foxes. Oh yeah, there's a secret sleeping fox down there. Yeah, it's like a hidden Mickey, but better. Oh. I don't mean to alarm you. There is literally a bear behind you trying to attack you. He's just trying to hug me. He wants a hug. A Christmas hug. Holy macaroni. Look at that tree. Wow. That is so darn beautiful. I feel like you're an Instagram. I love this tree so much. It's beautiful. I like how it has moose antlers in it. It has everything in it. Little woodland creatures. Bobbles, antlers, pouches like, <laughs> for for catching some trout, Furry a squirrel. Is that a squirrel? Oh. Yeah. Other antlers, moose antlers, canoes. Here's the gingerbread log cabin. Let's see what it says about it. There are five hidden Mickeys. It's not very many hidden Mickeys. I found one right there. There's a, uh, do those count? Those big ones? Or is it just the little ones that we're looking for? Right, what else do we got? Well, this one's only 144 pounds of honey. Absolutely no pounds of creativity. What the heck? Escape the rustic majesty of America's great Northwest. Our gingerbread cabin is inspired by the turn of the century National Park Lodges. Set inside the Wilderness Lodge lobby, the gingerbread cabin is nestled beside a murmuring creek and is just waiting to be discovered and enjoyed along with towering totem poles, stone hearth fireplace, and our majestic seven story Christmas tree. We're doing it. We're gonna find all the hidden Mickeys. There's one right there. There's two. Okay, I think there's only two on this side. There's number three. Here's my thing. In your opinion, Jen, do you yeah. see that gold Mickey up there? Yeah. Is that hidden to you? I mean, to me it is not hidden. Okay, now wait. Would you consider that more of a hidden Mickey? I mean... It's not a different color. It's like the same color as the rest of the building. Maybe? I don't know. Are those chocolate chip and dale? I think so. That's amazing. There's number four. We only got one more to find. I like how the base of this tree kind of looks like it has legs, like it's sitting down there. Ooh, they tried to get me what? with the final hidden Mickey. Where is it? It's down behind the tree there. Oh, okay. That one is a little more hidden. I was... I, is this one made out of chocolate more? It looks like chocolate. 
does kind of look like chocolate. Did it say on the um, ingredients? No, it didn't. Also, I like their little like merchandise plug here. Is it gingerbread or is it it's gingerbread? Kind of looks like chocolate, doesn't it? Yeah. So we came over from the main lobby and now we're in the DVC area and we're gonna go into the DVC building because they have another little Christmas tree in here. No gingerbread house though, but a little Christmas tree. You guys remember when we did the hidden Mickey hunt here? One of my favorite times was trying to find all the hidden Mickeys in this building. Oh, look at that. It's a very cute tree. Not seven stories like next door, but still very nice. So there you have it. That was our trip out to the Grand Floridian for dinner and then to see the gingerbread house and to see Enchanted Rose. And then we made our way over to Wilderness Lodge to see their tree and their gingerbread log cabin. Yeah. Fantastic night. We had a lot of fun. I definitely recommend like coming and checking out all of the Christmas offerings. Oh yeah. And they're free. Yeah. Which is really great. Yeah, unless you get a, a gingerbread shingle, then you have to pay for that. Oh, right, right, right. But I mean like coming and seeing the trees and coming and seeing the gingerbread houses. It's just like a really fun activity yeah. to come and do. Yeah. So all in all, a fantastic night. Yeah. And with that being said, we are off and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hi, I'm Rich. I'm Anthony. I'm Chris. And now it's, it's time, time to pay, pay the price. price.